Okay, it's Wednesday morning. I had to come in and fix a new cap because the new cap came with these super thick tabs on it that once you get it snapped in there, you can't take it off. And I had to literally take it off with a hammer this morning. So new cap, destroyed. Junk. What I did on the second one, because I ordered a two pack, that tab right there, I ground it down the wheel a little bit, snapped in nice and tight, now it comes off easy. But the new seat for the fares came in yesterday. Billy's unwrapping it. This is the new full suspension seat for the Ferris, nice and thick, actual OEM Ferris. Has these adjusters here for how high you want the armrests. Don't get her all dirty now. Beautiful seat and miles of upgrade from that hunk of crap right there. But a lot of people ask me about this seat. This seat was $729 with shipping. It was almost 800 bucks. And a lot of y'all think I'm crazy for that, I'm sure. But that hunk of crap right there that's a suspension seat for the walkers is $1,200. I bought two of them, and we end up taking it apart, and Billy built a stand. Don't make fun of my chair. This is my, this is my chair for when I cut people's hair. I'm starting a hair cutting business. You're starting a hair cutting business? Yeah, I'm a barber now. Do me a favor and start with your own. Wow. <laughs> Billy blowing stuff off. We're doing good. We're humping it along this morning. It is Wednesday. And I get my son on Wednesdays. Little Noah. That's what I had thought too. I don't know what I was talking about. What you talking about, Willis? I don't know. I'm listening to something. And Jason Alvin. What are you listening to? Jason Alvin. Um, I don't know what I was listening to. Some J.A. J. Jelson. J Jelson. So Jelson. I don't Jason. know. I don't know. Oh, Jason. Yeah. I am listening to... Coffee. I should be drinking coffee. I'm going to through a whole bunch of different songs. I got Fade Into You by Maisie Starr. Here Without You, Three Doors Down. Don't Let Me Down by Chain Smokers. Late Night Talking by Harry Styles. Just the Way You Are by Bruno Mars. Harry Styles. I don't know, man. It's Going just... back to One Direction. No, on, pops. I don't know. I don't even know who the dude is. It's just a Fan. mixture of songs on the station like, that I selected on Amazon. You know, like Jersey when she's fangirl over, over uh, One Direction. Is that where Harry Styles is from? Yeah, he was in that band. But yeah, so okay, we're jamming out. It's supposed to be like 88 degrees today. Right now, uh, my watch is 59. But the results are in. This is the Galaxy. That confirms that that's a lie. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be like 88, 90 degrees today, and the humidity level is super yeah. high. The dew point's like 76. That means insane to me. I talked about this because my freaking visual line won't snap. And I went to the ortho last night, and they had to rescan. My whole top row. They said the bottom row is completely done. The ones I'm wearing in there now are just to maintain them. But uh, they're perfectly straight and they're right where they need to be. But the top ones they had to rescan because my last two sets won't snap it. You just spit all over. You're mad. Remember when you were a little baby and your mom used to lift your shirt up and say raspberries and go on your belly? And you used to be like, ah! <laughs> used to <laughs> giggle like a little girl. Ah! No? You don't remember that? I remember that. Oh my god, hey, there's Captain Cupcake's truck. What is he doing? I don't know, but they tore down all these woods. This was all woods the other day. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Alright, then let's go mow some logs.
What's that? We were close, baby. Close. Okay, so that's not how I wanted to film this mower, but I'll explain why in a minute. Look at that. Okay, so if any of y'all watched that live last night, you'll know that my plan was to film that new right today. And that was that was the goal. But they said it's supposed to rain today, and then this morning they said it's not supposed to start till like four o'clock. And we've had some gusts of rain just come flying through. I think that thing's like pointing right mm -hmm. down here because it's so close. Really? Nope. It's perfect. Nice. And it's literally perfect. <laughs> um but yeah, we've had some gusts of rain come through. And uh, so I was like, crap. Because I had plans for what lawns I wanted to film with that thing today. And it just didn't happen. So um, they're saying we have like, I don't know, let's see what time it is. We have like an hour and we're supposed to get hit with some heavy rain. And it's supposed to last about two and a half hours. So I was like, I better start filming something now. Um, but I will definitely, by the end of this video, I'll probably do a walk around of that mower in the shop. So if you guys make it to the end of the video, um, in the very end of it, I'll tell you why I end up buying it. Because y'all know that I don't like right mowers. Didn't like right mowers. And uh, I had no intentions of ever buying one again. So if you make it to the end of the video, I'll explain you why I bought it, where I bought it, how I bought it, and what I paid for it but I'll definitely do a walk around and give you all the details. It's like this coming down like this drizzle probably getting on the camera now but we're at the apartment complexes the wind picked up we got this whole center section done i don't know how big you can tell on camera but it's huge it goes all the way over and it goes up the buildings all the way up there. there's a big section across the front um, i was just mowing the big section over there i took some pictures i'll get you guys i'll put the pictures in the video here somewhere But man, whew, this sucks. Billy's over there. He was just wrapping up. We wanted to get the whole insides done and then get all the sidewalks done and get all blown off before the rain started coming in. It's been raining on us on and off. But I wanted to get that done. The sidewalk's blown off before it got crazy. But here comes Billy dancing along in the rain. Man, that cold rain's got to be cold without that shirt on. Coming down, Billy. The only thing I didn't cut was that triangle. Section. That's right. I there's half of that up front over there I didn't cut, but it that's the part that he said we cut it every week. But he said the last company cut it like every two weeks, every three weeks. They don't really care about that too much, but I don't oh, know. it got ran over by the dudes in the big truck. Yeah, did you hear me scream at him? I oh. yelled at him. I was like, "Slow the f down!" And I threw my arms up, and he looked at me, put on his brakes, and I'm like, "Oh, baby, here we go." I'm like, "This dude woke up." This dude woke up freaking this morning with a lead foot and a, a pedal. He woke up thinking he was going to mess with somebody today. I woke up wishing somebody would. That's where he made a mistake. I might end up putting him in his forever box if he'd have stopped, but he didn't. So. Are they? Well, they're waterproof. That's why we only use skull candy because they're waterproof. But, oh, Billy, let's go back to the shop. I know this V-Ride 2 needs blades sharpened bad. And uh, I got that axe a little bit dirty. I got into some wetty stuff over there. There's two rights sitting up there. I never thought you'd see them in our trailers, huh? But I got a story to tell about this. So. Really bad ball over here. 
Oh, Sorry. Billy, you've been an oddball since the day you were born. I mean, that's what the adoption agency told me. I don't think I, you know. I wasn't that. Inside. Yeah. All right, let's wrap this up and go back to the shop, and we'll put both these mowers inside, and uh, we'll wrap up filming this mower over here. I'm going to the gym. I ain't been to the gym in almost yeah, three weeks. Like today. three weeks I haven't been to the gym. I woke up this morning thinking Well, I think that. I went like one or two days in the last three weeks but that's it i i need to get in there i woke up this morning and i was like man i realized that like every time i want to go to the gym it's always on monday and we always work until like so late. five and then I, we get done and i'm like yeah i don't want to all right go. we're getting soaked let's wrap it we'll we'll see you guys when we get back to the show uh, i don't know how much it's showing it but probably not much on the windshield out but it's it's definitely coming down now so yeah so let me get you guys a little i'm gonna get wet trying to film this but so it's all that area over there i don't know you guys probably can't see nothing but i'm putting this window back up. i'm getting soaked over here so it's a, there's a bunch of these little areas in front so that over there i didn't mow from like that sign right there up to these trees but everything from the trees forward i mowed and then i mowed all of this over here and i mowed this entire front See if I can. I mow that entire front all the way down the end, and then I mow this entire thing all the way over to the woods there. Turn around. Now go back out and. Seven. Now go back out to the truck and get our lunch pail so I can eat my lunch. Did you already eat yours? Some of it. All right. All right. I'm hungry. I gotta eat, and then uh, and then I'll we'll finish this right. But so we got the V ride too. We cleaned up the shop yesterday. Me and Noah and Connor came over for a little bit, and Billy. We mowed everything outside. Rearranged the trucks. We put the plows outside. This just needs a new belt on it, which the new belt's in the box over there. So we got to put the belt on. But we do have the power chute on this now, and we do have the seat on it. And, of course, we got all the pitter bikes and the four-wheeler and the mulch trailers. And the V-Ride 1, the walker, the windstorm, the grandstand, the X-Mark, the other Toro push mower, and the Ranger project. But uh, And then the right 32 is in the trailer. But in the break room we go. I'm hungry, Billy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to watch a little YouTube on the TV here, eat lunch, and then I will uh, I will be back to finish filming the right. Was in. That was almost on my phone. Okay, let's wrap this up. We're going to go over this real quick, and then I will sit down and give you the details of buying it and why I bought it, how much I paid, so on and so forth. <clears throat> so it is a 2022 Wright Standard X 52 inch deck. Um, that's pretty much the gist of it. I mean, there really isn't too much to say about it. I mean, it is what it is, right? It has the Kawasaki FX 730V 23 and a half horse. Um, and it's that's the only difference. The It's almost identical to the... Um, to the right Sport X that I had. The only difference between this one and that one is that one had the seat that came out here and it had an FS691V. And which is the FS691V is the same thing that's on my grandstand. It's the same thing that came the original engine on it. That's the brand new engine I just put out this winter. Again, same engine. And it's the same engine as this Skag V Red 1. So the only difference is this is now an FX730V instead of an FS691V. Um, and I think the only difference is those are 23 horsepower. This is 23 and a half. That will bring me to an issue. And I will explain that in a second. But other than that, it's the same thing as the Sport X I had. The Sport X was more straight up. It wasn't tilted like this one is. And it had the seat. Other than that, it's the same machine. Okay, so I desperately needed a new mower. A lot of things have broke down. The arm broke on the Toro grandstand. The main half inch thick arm, there's one on each side that um, hold the deck up. 
Yeah, it literally sheared right off. I'll put a picture in right here. The X mark broke down, I don't know, a month and a half ago, two months ago. Every time you put the PTO on, um, it kills the engine or it sometimes it stays running, but you put PTO on and it, um, the blades don't come on. Um, I don't know if the deal is with that. I replaced the PTO switch. It has a brand new clutch. Something's going on with that engine there. Um, we got the Ferris and it's been one thing after the next, just little things. It was a charging system, then the starter solenoid, then the battery, um, then the chain would have bolted through to hold the deck on. The bolt fell out of it and the deck dropped down. Um, it's just been one thing after the next. That's now fixed and good to go. The V-Ride 1 has an oil leak in the front of it we haven't found yet. Um, that's another issue. So pretty much we've been running the V-Ride 2. Uh, the controls are sticking on that. Someone told us to replace the bearings on both sides. We fixed those, uh, put new bearings in, um, and that didn't fix it. Something's going on with that, but we still run it every day. Um, that's going to need attention soon. The walker here, Billy's been running it like crazy. That thing's been flawless like it always has been since we got it. Um, so I really needed to upgrade two new mowers this year. Every couple of years I upgrade at least one, usually two mowers. Um, and I just, for all the things that were going on for me this year, I just, I couldn't do it. There was no way I could get mowers. Uh, I finally got to a point where I can, and I was in the, I called the Toro dealer, I don't know, about a month and a half ago. I had to get parts for that. And I asked him while I was on the phone with him, hey, what are availability on your mowers? And he's like, no way, man, not till end of the year, the beginning of the year, we just can't get any. Um, about three, four weeks ago, I was at the Walker dealer because I had to get parts for that. Um, I had to get a belt for that, and I said the same thing to him. He had one on a showroom floor. I go, can you guys not get walkers? He goes, nope, absolutely not. Um, I called my main dealer that sells Hustler, Wright, and Skag, and I, uh, I asked him. That we don't even have an Xmark dealer anymore in our area that I know of. Um, so I asked him. I sent him a text the other day when the Toro broke. I was like, man... What are the odds you have any mowers in stock or have availability to any? He goes, listen, he goes, same thing. End of November, beginning of December. It turns out all these manufacturers have thousands of mowers sitting in warehouses, but none of them can get engines for them. There's a huge engine problem. That's what every single dealer is telling me. And so nobody can get anything. He said, I know you don't like rights. He said, but I just took in like two days ago a right X. 52, he goes, it has 0.1 hours on it. He goes, I just took it in the other day. I have three people on a waiting list. So he called all three people and nobody answered their phone. So he called me and he says, it's yours if you want it. And he said, you can have it today. I said, I'll be there in a couple hours. Have it ready. So I bought it because I desperately need another mower. Um, and so knowing, so any of you guys have been following me for a period of time know, I love right mowers. I love the way they're built. I love the way they drive. My issue with them has always been their cut. I don't hate their cut, but I don't love the cut. Um, and then there was one more major issue I had that really, I tried everything I could to figure it out. It really pissed me off nonstop and I could never end up figuring it out. And I ended up selling that machine, I think with just under 200 hours on it. Um, I forgot about that second one, which I'll tell you in a minute, until Saturday when I ran this thing for the first time. But I did run it all day Saturday. I ran it for a little while yesterday, and then I've run it all day today. And I'll tell you what, I don't know what they did. I heard they changed some things with the deck. Whatever they did, I love this freaking deck. I love the way this thing is cutting. It is just, I've cut regular lawn, just standard cutting. I've cut heavy, thick, wet stuff that I've had to double cut. This thing is cleaning it up. It, this definitely does not cut like my Sport X did. That thing couldn't cut for crap. I tried multiple different blade combinations. This thing with the standard, just regular low lift blades that come stock on it, this thing's cutting awesome. It's driving awesome. So my issue, the other issue I had with it is every time I hit like a decent sized bump in the yard, I mean, I'm not even going that fast. And same thing, I tried to explain this in a video before with the Sport X, it did the same exact thing. Um, I go real slow over them, you know, I go a little bit faster over them. It didn't matter. These engines cut out. They cut out for a split second and they come right back. So I talked to Ed Wright, I talked to other people on uh, the Wright mower forums, and everyone's like, oh, it's your safety switch in your platform. 
you guys know that that's the first thing I do is take that safety switch out because that is an issue. You bounce on a bump and you come up, it hits that safety switch and it'll cut it out. That thing's not even in there and it wasn't in there from the first day on the Sport X either and it still did. So then Ed Wright had gotten back to me and he told me it was because of the Kawasaki engine. I call absolute bullshit on that. I have the same exact engine that Sport X had that same 691V that I have in this stag here. I'm on the second one on the Toro Grandstand. I've had it in probably 10 other mowers. The same exact engine. Never, never, never an issue. I do wheelies with that Toro all the time. You guys watch me do it. And it comes back down, doesn't cut nothing. It's not Kawasaki's engine. It is something with the way these rights are designed in those engines on there. It has nothing to do with that Kawasaki engine. Because I've had it on multiple mowers and it never does on any of it. Only ever did it on my Sport X and it does it on this too. And I forgot about that. And that's that's gonna irk the shit out of me. But I tried I tried when I had the sport to try to figure out what it was. Never could figure it out. Nobody could tell me anything. Everybody said, you're hitting bumps too fast. So I tried creeping over them slow and the mower would just, you know, as soon as it hit the bump, it would do it. I tried going over them fast, the glide a little over. I tried everything. It, it doesn't make a difference. And it is not the safety switch because the damn thing ain't even in there. Um, so I don't know. If any of you guys have had that problem with these and you found a solution, please leave it in the comments. Um, I would love to figure out what the hell's doing it. Um, I initially thought it was the solenoid, the shutoff solenoid in the bottom of the carburetors on them, and I replaced it on the Sport X, even though it was brand new, just to see. Didn't make a difference. Um, so, anyway, so that's why I ended up buying this machine. It's because uh, I couldn't get any other mower anywhere else. They, it was just impossible. Having mowed with this for a few days, I now only have 6.3 hours on it, but having the way it stands right now, if it continues to mow and drive the way that it has for the last few days, I would definitely buy another one. Um, it's, this machine has totally changed my mind about right. What did I pay for it? A year and a half ago, this machine was 9,800 bucks. With tax, everything out the door, said and done, I paid 13,400 for this machine. I know, it makes me sick too. But unfortunately, that's where the market is going and that's what's happening. This machine right here was like 14,000 a few years ago. If you want to replace that machine right there, you're looking at $26,000 right now. Absolutely ridiculous. My V-Ride 2, that thing is like 135 if you want to replace it. I bought it two and a half years ago for 8,500 bucks, brand new. Another three grand for the bagging system. But it's 135 for just the machine if you replace that machine today. It's disgusting. So that's what I paid for it. And that's why I have it, and those are my only two issues I ever had with rights, which made me never want to buy another right again with the cut, which that seems to be solved so far. I mean, I have zero, zero, zero quorums about the way this thing is cutting. Um, and I've cut heavy, wet, thick stuff. I've cut tall, dry stuff, tall, thick stuff that was um, dry and not wet. Um, I've had to double cut with it. It cleans right up on the second pass. Um, yeah, that and it cutting out. So cutting out is there. So that currently is my only issue with this. And uh, I'm a fan. Anything you want to add to that, Billy? It doesn't leave squiggly lines when you go in reverse. That's the one thing I love. And that's my one thing I absolutely hate about skag mowers. I've owned probably, what, 10, 15 skag mowers. Mm -hmm. Every single one has done it from the sit downs to the standers to the walk behind skags. They all do it. Um, my grandstand doesn't do it. My X mark doesn't do it. If you're mowing, so you mow a pass and you move over and you're mowing a section in reverse that you haven't cut yet, all the skags all leave that line of grass all the way back in front of it. I can mow in reverse all day on the X mark of the Toro and it doesn't leave any grass. It's like you mowed forward and it blows it all up the side. The Ferris does the same thing. You can mow in reverse with that too. This will do it. You mow in reverse with this, it doesn't leave the line of grass. Skags, every skag of everyone does it, it drives me crazy. I mean, it's not something you always have to do, but sometimes you just, it's just easier and, you know, the only way to go, you gotta mow with it in reverse. So, I love that about this. We'll end that there. What do you think? We got some maintenance to do on the V-Ride 2 and uh, put the new deck valve back on the Ferris and Jim, it's still raining. <laughs>